Hi, I'm Anna. This is the third of the four-part tutorials about our app. After setting up your shipping settings, tax settings, and margin settings, let me guide you on how you can search and choose your preferred products and how to add them to your inventory using the MSY Dropshipping app from Shopify. Let's check the first part which is the search products. On your MSY Dropshipping app, look at the sidebar tab on the left part of your screen. Click Products and click Search Products. Now in this page, you can see all of our inventory. Let's go to Import List. The first option is to search using To Search. Here you can search using any brand name that we have. You may use SKU or our product codes. Our code consists of a group of alphanumeric characters that are unique for a specific product. And finally, any keywords, like in this case, we use gaming chair. This would easily trace the product that you are looking for. The second option is to search by category. This is MSY current category. You can visit our website www.msy.be for you to be guided of our product per category setting. As an example, I'm going to choose home appliances. Then let's hit OK. Now the products will appear. This selection will all be itemized to its specific category. And the third one is through filter by price. Here you can set a price value with your range and filter the search products on that value. Let's try to limit it to 9 to 6 euros, then let's hit OK. All of the selections would be no more than 9 to 6 euros. The last and the fourth one is through manually searching for the product, the page is set 4 by 12 layout. Just scroll to the list until you reach the bottom and then click the next page. Then, once you have chosen the products, just click Import, confirm your action, and this will go directly to your import list. You may also import per category. Let's choose Home Appliance. Then let's hit OK. All the products under Home Appliance will show on the selection. This helps you import in bulk per your preferred category. Check and finalize the product selection. All seems well. Then hit Import Category. Confirm your action and all the products under Home Appliance will be imported to your import list. Congratulations, you just successfully import your product to the import list. Let's go to Import List. After selecting your products, go to the left sidebar again. Now this time, under Products. Choose Import List and click it. Now, this will lead you to the Import Product page. For this one, we will use this gaming chair as an example. On this page, it will have product, description, and pictures. In the Product tab, you can see the title, the purchase price, which is our wholesale price, the tax which we set at 20%, and can be edited from tax settings, the global margin that we set at 50%, and can be edited from margin settings, and the RRP or the recommended retail price. Under the delivery price, it will show the country and its delivery charges rate. Please note that the price of the product does not contain the shipping rates and the tax or the price of the item is tax and shipping rate excluded. Under Collections, our system automatically detects your categories and links them directly to that specific category. The Description tab contains the full description of the product and can be edited to your preference and the layout of your shop. Under the Picture tab, it contains the images associated with the products. If you want to remove a specific product, you can just click the Remove from List button, and this won't show on your import list. If you are all set, you still have one more step. Choose your category or collection for the product under the collection bar. Then, click Send to Store, and this will automatically be imported to your Shopify. A gentle reminder all of the products under the import list need to be uploaded one by one. This would give ample opportunity to edit, review, and finalize the items. Any product that was sent to store will automatically be an active listing in your shop. Let's go to My Products. Go to the left sidebar again and click My Products. 
Here is the list of your selected products which is now currently active in your store. Let's continue using this green gaming chair as an example. Now to view it let's click view on store. Then another tab will open and will automatically lead to the product tab in your Shopify. Now you can check and finalize your listing. Notice the vendor where it says MSY dropshipping, the vendor is the indicator that this specific product came from the app. By the way, a friendly reminder. If you are gonna sell to a country in which you are not catering yet, or you just wanna change your shipping rates to align with our rate, please make sure that you update the country in your Shopify shipping rates. Now, let's check it in your storefront. Okay, one more look. Perfect. Now you're good to go. Happy son. We successfully discuss and learn about adding and searching for products, interpreting the import listing panel, and experience the layout of your products from MSY dropshipping to your store. Our next tutorial will be orders and order management. We invite you to the part four in the last tutorial of the MSY dropshipping app. If you have any other questions, you can visit us at www.msy.be or contact us at info at msy.be. See you on the next video. Cheers.